welcome to Ballon Wood. A particular welcome to the most important people in the room. That's these guys. Because yeah. actually they're the ones who've done all the hard work. You get round of applause, absolutely. These are the guys who made the most of what I think has been a unique um, opportunity that in all the years I've been doing the job, I've never seen a package like this put together. It's one thing to put a package together and get lots of people involved, but it's another thing when actually that package, because everybody works so well together, has the impact it has and the impact it's had on these, these young people. I was really fortunate in my upbringing and I had something similar inputted to me when I was young, 12, 13. I was the air cadets actually. I was very fortunate um, and I have to say changed my life. I could have gone many different ways. I had supportive parents but peer group pressure is really something when you're that age and I just wanted to create something similar for young people of this area to have the opportunity really to think differently. Where did I get the inspiration from? Well, actually, I looked far and wide across this country and nobody really is doing anything. That, that didn't stop me. I actually found somebody in New York, the New York police in America, who was doing something similar. And I took my inspiration from that fact. But today, it's just about coming together to celebrate the success of this first programme. And I genuinely mean that. And the true success is quite rightly the young people sat here. And just on a personal note, from the police and from me, I want to thank you for all your efforts that you've done. Thank you. This group, uh, we know their background, we know where they come from, and all the reports before they came to us were that they actually worked together really well. So we thought we'd test that. And a bit of collective responsibility and decision making um, and actions and consequences. So, so hopefully these guys have realised that decision making is really important. Decisions we make now affect the rest of our lives. So a real pleasure to work with. Some fantastic teamwork. Um, we actually saw a lot of help in each other. They learned a lot about uh, safety, uh, fire safety, and safety in cars and things like that. We've also got the message, Dee's taught them how to light fires safely. We've, took, we've shown them how to put fires out. I don't think there was a single moment there was any negativity from these guys. But they're really engaged, they really got stuck into it, which meant that we could do bigger and better things like put them into a car and cut the roof off. But it wasn't just us cutting the roof off, they got to use the equipment, so they got to see what it's like to be a firefighter in those situations. They've also been inside the car while the roof has been cut off, so they've seen both sides of it. So it's quite scary when you're inside there. So hopefully they'll take that forward with them, um, and our feedback already is you're making positive choices. When you just see it all fall into place, it's great to be there, to, to see that moment. Um, and you just feel proud, proud for them that, that, that they didn't have the belief or the confidence to start with. Um, and then when you see them flourish, it's just a brilliant feeling. Yeah, we'll, we'll look forward to it every, no, every week. 
got more independent, he's got more empathy, yeah, he's confident, um, indicator, he's like, you know, um, he's proud of himself, that they've trusted him to, to, with the tools. He said he'd like, he'd like to be a fireman now. He's got, he's got up and he's got to school on time. It made me really happy that he's like wanted to go out and do it. Probably the fire station one. Probably the tower to be fair, because we had all this equipment on. You know, we went to the climb up, like skinny ladders and that. I feel more confident, I feel like, like my attitude's got better. I feel like my attitude's got better uh, to teachers and that's for school. No, they're, not, they're not numbers. They're our, they're our children, all right? They're our pupils. What you, there has been significant improvements in behaviour, <laughs> significant improvements in attendance, significant improvements in engagement in all lessons. So all of you in here have been spoken of very highly. never known an initiative have a better name than this one um, and it's about as we've just said it's about these young people making the right choices and they've worked with people who protect and serve they've worked with people and organizations who make a difference in all of our lives they've worked sometimes with organizations where the perception of them isn't potentially a positive one so for these young men to work so wonderfully well and productively well with the police, the fire brigade, the National Trust, so on and so forth, opens up their eyes to what these guys do to support our wonderful community. Well, what this has done, I think, has opened up opportunities for them. And so when people have talked about being proud of you, yes, I'm proud of you, but I tell you what, you should be proud of yourselves because of what you achieved. I simply couldn't be prouder of these young people. I want this, this, this project to um, go wider across South Birmingham, and it will do, because I'll make sure of it. You can already see the glimmer and sparkles that they're going to do just as well as the boys, and you can see them aspiring and achieving already the positive things that they're coming back with.